Hey friends, happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're talking a bit about this idea of longing for glory. It's uh, a piece of uh, what we learn as we go through the book of John. And as Jesus is ending his time on earth with the disciples, he prays this magnificent prayer. And at the end of it, he says this, uh, this line, Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to see my glory that you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. What Jesus is doing is he's praying for the disciples. Really, he's praying for us, uh, of those who follow him today as well. And he's praying for this transition that's taking place where he is leaving and the Holy Spirit will be replacing him. So with that idea, now we go into 2 Corinthians 3. Uh, we're going to read 17 and 18. It says this. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord there is freedom. And we all, with an unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. There's a lot happening in the Second Corinthians passage. You could do a whole word study and a deep dive on the glory of the Lord, what that really looks like throughout the whole Bible. But just for a moment, uh, I just want you to think about this. When Jesus is praying for us 2,000 years ago, what he's praying for is that we, that we have encounters with the Holy Spirit that move us, that change us, that transform us. Moments where we can't help but feel the weight, which is really what the the what the word glory can be translated as. It's this weightiness, uh, this heaviness of the presence of God. And so when we think about encounters with Jesus, maybe in church, maybe when we read scripture, maybe when we're praying, maybe in a conversation, moment after moment, over time, the Lord is praying for us 2,000 years ago today that we would look more and more like him as we have these, you could say, glory encounters, these weighty, heavy, uh, life-changing moments. Again, these moments look different for everyone, and they happen at different times throughout our life. Um, but with that being said, I just want you to think about the reality that Jesus prayed for us, and he thought of us long ago in the past. He thought of us in such a way that he wanted us to uh, be transformed and grow in knowing who he is and have these moments with him and the Holy Spirit that would make us more like him in time. So when you see that word glory, uh, when you read the Bible from here and out, what do you think about the weightiness of the presence of God and the transformative power that it has when we have an encounter with it? That's our Thursday Devo. Uh, hopefully you're having a great uh, morning or day whenever you're watching this so far and uh, blessings on you as you get ready to go into the weekend. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.